Hey everybody, it's Melissa, the unlikely hiker. I hope everyone's doing good. And uh, so I've been practicing hiking, right? I've been doing some walks, been gaining some, uh, mostly miles, you know, gaining some distance there. So this is part two today in our series, how to get off that couch and get into hiking and backpacking. So today Ruby and I are at Harvey Mountain State Forest. And as you can see right now, I'm actually walking up, it's like a, it's like a forest service road, but not really. And we're walking up to the top of Harvey Mountain. It's an open area, it's got some nice views. And today I'm adding some elevation to my distance. And got a little pack going on back there. Planning on being out for a little while. So what I'm doing here is I'm gaining some elevation on a very predictable path here. So it's predictable because I've been here before, but it's also wide and open. There's no way I'm gonna get lost on this road. It goes up, it goes right back down to the car. If I feel like when I get to the top, that's all I can do, I can definitely turn right around and go back to the car the same way I came. But I do know that there's some other trails off to the side. So I do have my electronic navigation and we're gonna check out some of those trails today, I think. So let's keep going with step two on how to get into hiking. Who's a good girl? Okay, it's a little breezy up here, so hopefully you can hear me all right. So we've walked just under a mile, about 200, almost 300 feet of elevation gain, whatever it said on Gaia. And uh, here we are, this is, um, I don't think this is the summit actually of Harvey Mountain, I think that's up that way and we're gonna head that way shortly. Um, but like I said, I've been to this area before. It's a, a really easy walk up that that little road and I know that there's a bench up here so I can have a seat and relax for a minute if I feel like but I feel like I'm doing okay so I'm gonna keep going so in the beginning you want to really pick predictable spots where you know that it's gonna be easy to find you can't get lost maybe a place to sit down and rest or you bring a chair with you again you need to start where you are start easy we're gonna go add some more elevation, so let's go. Fun side note, the entire top of this mountain is covered in blueberry bushes. So it's really fun to come here when the blueberries are uh, ripe. You do have to watch out for bears. <laughs> I have seen bears in this very small state park, but or state forest, whatever it is. But they run away. Ruby and I also just heard a tree fall. It's really important when you're backpacking to familiarize yourself with the sights and sounds and animals that are gonna be around you. That way you don't get caught off guard. Literally all the times I've been up here, I never knew that, that the summit marker was right there. I've actually camped right over there before. No clue. Okay then, yeah. You'll notice it said Massachusetts and New York um, because we are right on the border in between the two states. I'm gonna see if I can find something for you, hold on. Ruby's in Massachusetts. Oh, now she's in New York. New York. Can you see that? Massachusetts. So if you wanna have fun with it, you can play the game. I'm in Massachusetts. I'm in New York. I'm in Massachusetts. I'm in New York. Now, Ruby and I just hiked off trail a little bit because uh, I saw something that looked like it may have been a trail at one point. Maybe it was, but I don't know. Now, the reason for this lovely little tangent is, um, like I said, I I've been to this area before, but if I'm going somewhere where I don't know, even where I do know, 
today, for instance, I'm running Gaia in the background. That way, if I take a wrong turn somewhere, I can double back. I can see where I've been. I can follow that path back out. So that helps me be confident that I'm not going to get lost. But you have to remember that... Um, just catch my breath for a second. Because you just have to remember, if I'm using my phone heavily, I need a way to charge it. I do have my battery bank with me today, so that's fine. I can use my phone. Oh, bugs. I don't like bugs. You can also bring a friend with you for, you know, some trips out so that at least if you're lost, you're lost with another person or maybe somebody that's familiar with a trail that you want to go on. And these are all ways that you can ease into a larger hike without having that anxiety. So we're not gonna go super far today, but I do like to explore while I'm out. So I feel confident knowing I can explore when I know I'm not gonna get lost. So I found this little spring. That's what Ruby was drinking out of. I came down the side trail, because this is the second side trail. I wanted to see what was down here. Somebody, it's not an official trail, but somebody on Gaia has come down here before and I have a feeling it links up with that other trail that I was just heading down and turned around on. I'm gaining some more elevation, which is good because that's kind of why I'm here today. All right, so we finished our little Harvey Mountain Summit Loop Trail, which was very nice. It's not very long. But that's the point. So when you're starting out and you're gonna add something a little bit more difficult, you know, something like this is fantastic because you're literally following a road up. You're getting most of your elevation there. Ruby and I took a couple side trails, add a little bit more elevation there, you know, and then a short little wood trail, you know, that's, it's not marked, that one in particular is not marked with any trail markers, but it's definitely, easy to follow um you know and i had gaia so i wasn't gonna get lost and then poof i come back out and i'm back on the road again so you know you, you take things in small chunks i think that's what i'm trying to tell you okay so today's stats not insanely impressive but um it was about two and a half miles, I think 368 in elevation gain, 400 in loss. And you can see on the Gaia track, we sort of went off in a couple different directions. So, but that's not bad for today. We'll check in with you uh, the next time uh, we go out this week, all right? Good job. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Melissa, the unlikely hiker on day two of adding elevation. And as you can see, I'm out of breath. So all the elevation is gonna be um, obviously going up, but you go up one side and then it loops around longer, coming back down. Um, I have done this mountain a bunch of times and I love it. But uh, again, I haven't done it in a while. So uh, it's pretty steep, and uh, but we're gonna have fun. We started early because it's gonna be pretty warm today. I have as light a pack as possible. I packed a filter instead of extra water and um, just the bare minimum because we're going to be adding really not much distance but a lot of elevation. So that's something you want to think about when you're planning your hike and adding distance and elevation is what's your elevation gain per mile and what's your distance and you want to bring as most efficient pack as possible. And if you're on a day hike dial that in and be wary of what you're bringing don't bring things that are unnecessary like the what ifs but do bring enough like the 10 essentials so we just got to the top of the um the steep rocky part you want to remember when you're going up spots like that go slow because it's steep but go slow because you want to make sure your footing is solid. You don't want to make any mishaps. There's water kind of flowing down the trail too, so you don't want to slip on anything. So go slow, you're going to get there. The black flies are actually tragic. Another tip, when you're going up slides, 
you feel really exposed and it can be really scary. Remember this one thing. It's like walking up the stairs. If you're using trekking poles, those are your handrails. But it's just like stairs. So remember that and wear your head net too. Yeah. Follow me for more tips. Go ahead, Rue. Come on, girl. You can do it. Go ahead. <gasps> Yay! You want to try it again? Go ahead. Okay. Up, up. Yay! <gasps> oh my lord! You can do it, Rue. I have faith. Okay, you want to try that way? You can try. Come on. You got this, Ruby. You got this. You can do it. You're a smart girl. Come on. Oh, my God. She's shaking. She's shaking. Come on, girl. You got I got you. She's doing it. I got you. you I'm going next. You're not going next. I got you, Ru. You're Come on. You got this. You got to go all the way to the top. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Nope, this way. Over here. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Over here. You can do it. Figure it out. I don't like what she's doing right now. Come on. Come on, Ruby. You got Come on. This, no, no, no. Ah, ah, ah. no, 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 no. Stop. Over here. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what to do. Well, that's what I'm worried about when I get up there. <laughs> I'm get off the ladder. Come on. All right, that's good enough, Rue. Over here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, Ruby, this way. This way, right here. Over here. Or that way. Okay, so Ruby and I have made it up the stairs. So I think um, I think Ruby showed a really good lesson. Um, she tried a couple ways to come up, and she did the best she could. But then she just needed a little tiny bit of help, and she did it. She took her time. She didn't quit, and she figured it out. And she accepted a little bit of help when she needed it. So follow that. Okay, so we just got done with like an hour long break after going up that ladder. And you gotta remember when you push yourself and you do a really cool hike like this where you're adding some elevation is uh, you get these views, which is just tremendous. And that's your reward right there. So for all that hard work and patience, that's your payoff. She looks like an otter. It's not cranberry, it's cream. So that's where we just were. Oh! <laughs> so with great elevation comes great elevation loss. Going up, you want to take it slow. Going down, you also want to take it slow. So right now we're going down a slide. As you can see, it goes down and um, you just want to take it easy. If it makes you feel nervous, you can lower your center of gravity. Um, or like me, you can just walk down straight, um, whatever you like. You could zigzag and, you know, take some of the stress off your legs, but you just take it slow it will be fine. It's like going up and down stairs, right? Same thing. So like I said, you want to take your time 
going down these steep sections. And there's lots of different techniques. You have to kind of figure out what works for you. I sidestep a lot of steep slab areas just because I've actually strained my IT band uh, on a few hikes previously from just like going straight down a slab. But you just want to take it easy. Use both hands and both feet to get down. Lower your center of gravity if you're getting nervous and you'll be fine. And then when you've gotten down a steep section like that, congratulate yourself. Have a sip of water, sip of whatever you want, I don't care. And um, maybe even a power bar or something. So this is a great hike here. Crane Mountain and the Adirondacks is uh, definitely in my top five. If you're in the area, you should check it out. Okay, so I do want to be honest about something. Um, I would never expect anyone to do like couch to crane because that doesn't make sense. This is actually a pretty challenging mountain, but the things that I'm telling you can apply to mountains that aren't as tall. I think we were like 3,200 feet, um, but also mountains that aren't as cliffy as this one all the same rules still apply. This is just where we came today. It's one of my favorites. So I was super happy to do it again. Started hiking this mountain about 10 plus years ago, maybe longer, maybe like 14 years. It's been a long time that I've been loving this area. Uh, so, and there's some great camping here too. So I can't wait to come back this summer.